Huge march of college kids celebrating instead of protesting. You know, reading about protests around the USA and other countries, uh, shutting down campuses. Uh, anyway, these students, and I was alerted to this. I was working on another video, which I'll probably put up yet today, on uh, condos, prices. And anyway, I, you know, if you turn the volume up about 20 or 30 times what you're hearing on this video, that's what I was hearing from my office bedroom window. And I think it's, I think it's uh, students from the normal university because I can still hear announcers uh, speaking, uh, hollering into their microphones uh, down there much of the day, something going on, some kind of celebration. Uh, student day or something. Anyway, they are celebrating, walking down the street, and uh, they're walking down this side street that kind of comes from a normal university. Uh, and I'm going to go down. I couldn't help myself. I went down and got some closer video of, of these students. Anyway, I tried to get in. I tried to I tried to join the normal university a couple times, and they said, sir, you're not allowed. You're not normal. Anyway, I walk past it all the time and dream about being a student again at a university. And now I'm down on uh, the street to the left of me is uh, F. Ramos Street. And you follow that down, it takes you up near Fuente Osmina Circle, up near Mango Avenue, Mango Square area. And before I forget it, uh, Mango Square used to be the kind of the entertainment center of Cebu City so many years ago. Gosh, maybe uh, maybe five years ago, six, seven years ago, something like that. And then uh, they kind of got rid of a lot of the entertainment uh, bars, restaurants in that area. And uh, now it's fast food and 7-Eleven and uh, laundromat uh, type thing. But anyway, that's about to change. The Social, which is a, uh, if you've been to Cebu City, you may have encountered it. At, I, they've got one at, it's a restaurant bar, resto bar. Uh, they've got one in Ayala Mall. Uh, they had one SM Mall Seaside, but that closed uh, during all the open up. Now we're closed. We're closing the economy. We're going to open up for a while, then we close the economy down. They just couldn't handle it after a while. And uh, and they have one at um, had one at IT Park. IT Park had a, a big, very popular the social. And uh, I think Ayala, who owns and manages the IT park business area, uh, wanted, wanted their property, wanted the property they were on, to extend their bus, uh, their, their bus area there. And anyway, they are moving on the backside of Mango Square. I walked back there the other day on the backside. There's also a couple discos back in there. And I will do a video soon, but uh, yeah, uh, they, they, they've got another month or more to go, I think. Uh, look like look like some uh, containers. So I don't know if they're sectioning off different parts of of the area and using the containers uh, uh, for a dining area, a band area, wh what they're doing with those. But uh, anyway, I'll get down there another week or so and get a little better idea of what they're doing. The bars that were on in Mango Square area so many years ago, they kind of, they either closed or they, a couple of them kind of moved down the street a ways. And so you got down Ramos Street, not very far from this corner as a matter of fact, you got uh, 301 Ramos Bar and Restaurant. They serve some pretty good food. Uh, short walk for me, gosh, block and a half, something like that, I think. Um, up on Mango Square, if you go, or Ma Mango Avenue, if you go farther away from Fuente Osmina, big traffic circle on Mango Avenue, uh, also called uh, General Maxilome Avenue, 
um, you will run into uh, a popular, one of the popular foreigner clubs there, which is Howling Dog. And then you've got a few others. You've got a couple of bikini bars and a couple other bars in between there and Mango Square as well. Anyway, back to this parade. It, it certainly doesn't look like any kind of graduation. They're, they're out celebrating, I think they're various schools. The one big banner read uh, uh, teachers, the teacher department, teachers college at the, at the college. And I think these are, each group is majoring in, in a different area. You know, it's been more than a few years since I was in college. And uh, boy, I forget how young we all were back then. And uh, I was thinking, you know, these look like high school, junior high or high school kids, a lot of them. And uh, no, I think they're all, I think they're all college kids. Which leads me to uh, think of uh, another video I'm working on, maybe in another week or so, um, about relationships. I've got good news and I've got bad news. Uh, for all you foreigners hoping to uh, hook up with some of the young ladies here in the Philippines. I've got good news and I've got bad news. And, 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 and I've got good news. So look for that video coming up. The video I'm working on and hope to still get up today is uh, about, about condominiums, uh, what they look like, how much they cost, what's available. Uh, here in 2024 and so we'll get into that here a little bit anyway thanks for coming along stay safe safe travels see you next time and by the way subscribe uh, comment thumbs up thumbs down doesn't matter either way uh, helps the algorithms appreciate you all coming along